What's going on guys? Today I got a little bit of footage for you actually working on the Suzuki SX4. Um, basically what I've been running into is that I've been having an O2 sensor problem. So um, I ran the code, it's a PO420 code. So as you guys see, I have a check engine light. So basically what I do is I get my little code reader, I hit enter, it's gonna read the codes. It says that one code's found, hit enter. Go to uh, read codes, enter. And PO420, catalyst system, efficiency below threshold bank one. So what I did when I first got this is I was like, okay, um, I have two O2 sensors. So I have one on the front end of the motor and then I have one um, downstream. So the upstream is on the front of the motor, the downstream is near the behind the cat. So I replaced the first one because it was the cheapest one that I could find. I put it in and uh, it rode without the light for about 30, 40 miles and then it popped back on. So now I know it's the O2 sensor, uh, the downstream one. So uh, I learned a little trick on the good old YouTube. So I'm actually gonna show you guys a super easy, clear cut video of how to uh, actually cheat your system to make make it so that your engine uh, check engine light goes away and it won't come back on. So basically your step's gonna be this. You're gonna go to advanced auto parts and buy uh, the 42009 spark plug non-fowler. Um, there's longer ones it says, and then there's like shorter ones. I got the longer ones because due to the fact that the O2 sensor is actually pretty long. So as you can see here, I just have like a little plastic cover over the threads, but this is my old front O2 sensor. But as you see, if you try to put just one of these on, you'll put it on and it doesn't go all the way down to thread, so you can't thread it on. So what you're gonna have to do is take this off and you're gonna have to use a half inch drill bit and drill this hole right here. So we're gonna open this hole up so then the actual O2 sensor can fit through so this can thread on and then we'll use the other part you won't drill this one out, you'll only drill one out, and then we'll screw this one on so it'll make it long enough, then we'll actually put it into uh, where it's actually supposed to hook up on the car behind the cat. So basically what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna take one of them, you're gonna put this in a vise. So, and you wanna make sure that you're gonna be careful about it, uh, just for the fact that it is aluminum, so you don't wanna mess up the threads on the outside or on the inside. Okay, so now we have our uh, defouler actually in the vise. You're gonna grab your half inch drill bit with your drill, and when you're going to drill, you want to make sure you're drilling straight down into it just so you don't mess up the threads actually on the inside of the defouler. So as you guys can see, I drilled through the hole there. So it, made, it widened up that hole, so now we're going to actually be able to put our O2 sensor through there. Julian's out here. Freddie's out here. What's up, Fred? What's up, Fred? What's up, boy? What's up, boy? So, uh, basically, I've been under this car for an hour trying to figure out where my freaking second O2 sensor is. Um, oh, I already, you know why? I already replaced the first it's one. Not, it's not threaded in properly. It's not? Nope. It's all it's messed it's up. Such a, it's such a tight fit there. Yeah. That it literally is not threaded in properly. So it's not reading. Yeah. It's probably stripped as well. Yeah. Probably cross threaded it in. Just well, I got, a, I got a spare O2 sensor and I got a new cat, so we're good. <laughs> Yeah, so Julian's looking for the connector, but basically I couldn't find it because I was like looking all over um, So on the cat they actually have uh, a plug here a plug here and then uh, a plug on this side So this plug over here for uh, Suzuki SX4 it actually the O2 second O2 sensor plugs into here I was under the impression it plugged into here because on some videos I've seen it uh, screwed into here and uh so I was like losing my mind. I'm like, dude, I can't see it. And Julian comes under the car for two minutes and he's like, dude, I found it. it like, it's running on the back side towards the middle of the motor. So so we found it, but now he's saying that it's not screwed in right. So Cause it, the way that this is, it's at a, you see how it's at a slant like yeah. this? It should be more like that. Yeah. So literally the, what's it called? The O2 sensor, right where the wire comes out of the actual metal. Yeah. It's literally like almost, pinched against the, uh, the oh, block. Oh, okay. Yeah, so like literally that's just like a pretty much engineer flaw that they should have just fucking popped it this way a little bit Yeah, more. a little bit more. But you know, why would they do that? Because you know, they can't make our lives easy. <laughs> so, uh, so this is what we're getting into now. And then, uh, like I said before, 
uh, I'm gonna paint my side skirts and then we're gonna go pull this dude's motor and you guys are gonna see his car. And I told them to leave a comment below because I know that they have no idea. Oh, I have no idea. No idea. I got rid of my Z if nobody yeah. knows that yet. I'm pretty sure they don't. <laughs> but yeah, I sold my Z in like two hours. Dude. Yeah. Just to go buy this car, has a seized motor. But I didn't give a fuck. I, didn't. I did not care. I was just like, yep, yeah, I'm going to go get you, this. You guys don't even understand. It's going to be, you guys will be mind blown. But yeah, so let's get into this. All right, guys. So we got the old cat out. So as you can see, I mean, it's old. It's rusted, whatever. This is my new O2 sensor. So we're going to take this out. That's actually with the defouler uh, technique to help it. Because I thought that would clear the code. But obviously it didn't because the issue is this. That's not sitting flush at all. Not at all. So um, that was probably the reason why I was getting the code. So, yeah. um, but good thing that. is I got uh, a spare O2 sensor and a new cat. The so only thing I could say too is when we put the new one in, because the way that the, they have the bung, the location, it's instead of being right here. In all honesty, it should be just a little bit over because the end right here is hitting the transmission case yeah so that's why whoever put this in cross threaded in and then said fuck it i'm just gonna leave it like that yeah i mean it's it is what it is, it is what but it we'll is. put it in we're gonna put ours in the only thing i can say is grab some uh heat wrap and literally we'll put it in before yeah and then literally we'll heat wrap the end so that if it does actually touch the, the tranny case it, it won't melt melt through. yeah so as you guys can see check engine lights gone uh I basically put about a hundred miles on the car or, or more um, before and I haven't had the code come up ever since we changed the two O2 sensors in the cat and uh, the car's inspected so super pumped and uh, yeah let's go see what Julian's got um, I'm here at Julian's house now so you guys are about to see the whip so even by just seeing the front I bet you you guys still came and tell me what the car this is. <laughs> Got true JDM fans. Yeah. Damn, it's a big boy. Oh, V8, bro. So look at the strut towers. Can you tell what it is? <laughs> Point it to. Can you tell what the strut towers? I was just by the strut towers, the suspension. Maybe the wheels. Maybe, Maybe the, the wheels. wheels. No? no. All right, let him know. The 91 Nissan President right-hand drive from the motherlands. Right-hand drive from the $4,500 rising sun on the roof, dude. This thing stunts. Right-hand drive. No joke, this car is so sick. It is so fancy and just... Yeah, so many, oh, it has more features so many features. Than a 2013, 2015 car, all that type of shit. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Nissan President. It's got a Junction Produce body kit, front bumper, side skirts, rear bumper. It's hydraulic suspension, it's active suspension. Uh, as you've seen, it's a long boy, but the rear seats are powered, they move forward and back the back as well moves forward and back and i just figured out that they also have a uh what's it called back massage in them they're built in yeah yeah back massage built in yep on both seats he has a tv from the factory the control open that the center right there and i'll have all no no, no the whole thing oh. and then he has the buttons for the control the buttons there also control the front seat as well like the front passenger seat, you can make it move forward and back from the back <laughs> As the remote right there for the TV and the little stick. Yep. That is crazy. I didn't know that you could actually move the passenger seat yeah. forward from What's the back. That I'm kind of mad because there's a option where the uh, center part of your back on that front yep, passenger yeah. seat it actually folds back so that whoever's sitting in the back can put their legs fully through as if they're literally resting on a couch with the ottoman for their feet. <laughs> it's insane. It's crazy. Nuts, this car is so sick. Obviously, I'm trying to, I, if we got it in the tent right now just to the fact that we're trying to get uh, the motor out, so we're pulling the motor today. Yeah, I bought it with a seized motor, but I got it for a deal. I mean, can't go wrong, it has a clean, clean title. 
I already have it registered and insured. I just have to get it running and go get it inspected. Hell yeah. So yeah. So we'll give you guys like a full. Yeah, and I have new, oh. I have a new motor already replaced for it. Yeah. yeah, you guys will see this thing very very shortly. Um, but like I said, we just got it in here just to the fact that if it started to rain or whatever, like we just want to make sure that we're gonna be able to get the motor out and it's not gonna get anything rusted. So uh, we're gonna start pulling this bad boy out now. This hood is so freaking heavy. Oh my god. It's mad nice though. This thing is sick. So uh we just uh finished up taking the heater core lines off in the rear here. And then we just took the hood off, did all that, took the hood struts off. So now he's just doing the motor mounts and then what we'll be able to do is uh Basically what he was running into by himself was the transmission is still caught on the motor a little bit. So the motor the, needs uh, to- The motor is seized, so it's automatic training. So you have to get the uh, torque converters out at the same time you do the transmission, but be able to get all the torque converter bolts, you have to be able to uh, spin the crank to get them all. And since the motor is seized, you're not able to spin it. So there's not enough room in the training tunnel on this chassis just to be able to snake it around it. So you have to literally, we have to pick this up Pick it forward, up and then pull it forward then a little bit. The tranny's gonna drop at the same time. Yeah. So while we're doing that, he'll be doing uh, the tranny, trying to like judge that, make sure it's not gonna fall or anything like that. So, so we're into. Okay, guys, we got it out. This ain't going back in. <laughs> we I, got, I just decided got, that no fucking way. Dude, no. this. This was this was a pain. Like the VG is so easy to take out of our car yep. to drop the transmission. Um, since this is an automatic, the torque converter is just ridiculous to deal with. Yep. Like this, the motor seized, so you literally can't spin it to get the bolts. This is just insane. Oh, that that sucked. So, uh, we got the transmission out. Uh, it, it was it was terrible. We we were. Like tilting the motor up, tilting it down, tilting the tranny up, tilting it down, little by little, inch by inch by just inch, until the, finally the we got a, to, we got like a centimeter, and we just freaking pried it off, and boom, and the tranny hit the ground. We were look, like, "See ya." Look at, look yeah, at. That's where we were rubbing. The motor's so big. Why oh, yeah. are you? Why is your tunnel stop right there? Like yeah. push it back more. What yeah. are you gaining out of that? Dude, just grab a sledgehammer, bang Yo, that in, dude. I'm telling you, it's going to VG swap, VG swap <laughs> or JZ swap. I'm done. I'm not putting that back in. Hell yeah. to the no, there's too many freaking like, hydraulics. There's a lot of room here, but you guys, this motor is, big. is huge. Like, first of all, let me let me explain how big this is. The transmission bolts are literally a 19. They're a 19. <laughs> My drive shaft bolts were a 22. <laughs> a, a 22? Nothing on the Z is even that big. No. Freaking 22, bro. Yeah. This was... He he's frustrated. He, oh, I'm very we we were we guys we were battling with this thing. I'm so frustrated we were, that I didn't care when the automatic yeah. fell right on its face. I didn't <laughs> care. I was like, just drop it. I don't care if it oil pan cracks, belt housing crack. I don't care. Just let it drop. Yeah. Like that's to the point where I was. But it's out. Freaking got showered in. Oh yeah, he's covered in coolant and power steering fluid, and then he slid his hand open on the uh, on the rad support. rad support right here. But it's out. It's out. Now he gets the everything's coming out. Yeah, everything because I'm not putting that back in. I'm literally putting a whole entire. I'm telling you, either Jay Z or VG, and I'm gonna put the whole ECU. I'm putting literally everything into that shit. I do not care. I'm gonna change the cluster out. I'll make my own cluster, you know, set up bracket for it to fit. But I'm I'm not putting that back in. I'm not doing that. <laughs> Hell no. Cause just just putting it back in is gonna been, be impossible. He, he's I'm telling you, he's been going off on this ramp literally, for like a half hour. Literally, putting it back like, in is gonna be impossible. Do you know how hard that was just to put it out? Yeah. Do you think we're gonna be able to put it back in with all the lines and everything that has to go back into the exact same spot? No way. Nope. No way. Mm -mm. Uh, let me know if y'all need uh, another um, VH45 DE. I got a motor at home that's not seized that was gonna go into it. I'm not putting it in now. It's he'll sell you both. Uh, I'll sell you both. Take you them can both. Rebuild one while you have the other one to drift with. Whatever you want to do. Leave it in the comments. Literally, Hit leave us it up. In the comments. Let me know. Underscore 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 president underscore 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 VIP underscore underscore underscore. Hit me up. <laughs> Hashtag I'm, underscore. I'm not. I'm not keeping it. No way. <laughs> oh, what a day. So we were actually just talking. It's been crazy. Like, so we've done 202 sensors depend one of them yeah. did a catalytic converter and then just pull the motor and transmission out of yeah. the president yep. so we've done a lot of work today we're about to go get some freaking we're about to hydrate, hydrate. 
Freddy's out here. He says he misses you guys. We all miss you. But uh, yeah. But uh, we're actually we're gonna end it here. We're tired. It, we're wrapping it up. So yeah, I need a shower, <laughs> like a proper shower, not a coolant and freaking power steering shower. Yeah. So you guys know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe. Let us know in the comments how we're doing. What you guys want to see? What's gonna happen with the president? What's gonna drift happen car. with the drift car? That's, that my president is a drift car. It's not, <laughs> I, I don't care how VIP it looks. I'm making it to a drift car. <laughs> uh, people will probably be mad, but that's life, man. Hell yeah. See you guys later. Peace.